Stand down. Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. Can those things work a train's controls? Hell if I know. I'm not assuming any goddamn thing. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. Call me Shepard. I was sent to find an Asari matriarch. Venezia? Yeah, she came through here. The aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out and he ain't all there anymore. The first we knew the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. Venezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, and if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Tell me about Rift Station. I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys could take this place. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. Automated defenses can be overridden. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. How are your people holding up? We weren't expecting the initial wave. We made it inside. We lost some good people. Those of us left are shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. You're certain the Matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable one. Something goes wrong, they heat it up and sink it into the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram from Central Station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. You understand? Did the aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack from outside? You want my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. What can you tell me about the aliens? Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. It's the only Volus left in here. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Hell! Man the perimeter! Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. They always attack here? It's an obvious kill zone. Their only other option is over the mountain and down through the ducts, and they freeze like everyone else. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts.
what? You seem less upset at this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. You're a member of the science teams? Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic-enhanced allele-specific hybridization. That's a bit technical for me. I am very good at tracking inherited variations in genetic sequences. I'm sure you would find it quite dull. Do you know Matriarch Benezia? Do you know President Huerta of Earth? <laughs> I did not think so. Benezia passed through here. You didn't see her? I saw her. You asked if I knew her. I do not. That's all for now. Then I will return to my meditations. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously, I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. since the attack. Yeah, is there something you need? What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non-disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. For that now. What do you know about the hot labs? Nothing. I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Is he in the medical ward? No, he's staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'm looking for an Asari. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ialis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. I'll talk to you later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. What do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. I have a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the company. But you're going to, because I might be able to help. And I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols for our experiments here. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. That was you? I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. I need full cooperation if I'm going to hell. You want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. No, wait. It's a bioweapon. Based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. 
But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Damn Solarians just love to play with bugs. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. You made this but can't cure it. Don't you people take notes? Our first priority was getting it working. We were close to synthesizing an antidote when Mira went down. Our notes and equipment are locked in the quarantine labs. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. What will it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. to find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Don't screw with me, they can't be Rachni. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. The waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, a bad decision. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Answer the question. Dr. Zonmua. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram, and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. 
I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. Could Matriarch Benezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. Something you need? I've heard about the problems in the quarantine lab. I'd like to recover the toxin cure. God, I wish we could help those guys. I really do, but we can't risk contamination now. Dr. Cohen says there's no risk of contamination. All right, you want to gamble with your life, you're not under my command. I'll have the guard let you in, but he'll lock the door behind you. He'll run a full scan before I'll let you out. If there are any anomalies, you stay in there. That's the only way you'll let us in? I agree. I'll radio ahead to let the guard know. Good luck. I've got work to do. You and me both. You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade.
Your mission ends here, Shepard. We'll see about that, bitch. She's surrounded by Geth and pointing a gun at us. Shoot her! You're not as stupid as you look. Weapons free! They came out of there. That door's locked. How can I get in? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. was ambushed in the lab you sent me to. If you set me up... You were attacked? I, I... I don't know anything about that. I hate conflict. I've never even fired anyone. I have my receptionist do it. Look. The guards? They've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. What about the maintenance area? Do you have access to that? The maintenance area? Yes. Take my pass. But there's just snow back there. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? And I almost lost mine. Thanks is all I get. We need to be at peak to fight those aliens. Give us some Medigel. Of course. Here. You didn't get these from me. Ventrolis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again.
you do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. You won't look so smug with a hole in your head. Your insolence is a poor mask for your fear. light. Everything is clear. Start talking, Venezia. What's Saren's next move? I will not betray him. You will... You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control now? I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. It will not last long. You chose to join with Saren. You just got more than you bargained for. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. 
Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched, patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You have to give me the location. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates isn't enough. We need to know where to go from there. Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Die. I cannot go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. First you turn on the council, now on Saren. You're not loyal to anything, are you? <laughs> I suppose that is how history will know me. No light. They always said there would be a... <sighs> This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children. You thought silenced. We are Rachni. Did you order your people to kill the science team? No. We were locked away here. The children are beyond our songs. They have been... lost to silence. The children we birthed were stolen from us. 
before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen, they stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war, claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Makes sense. A baby left alone in a closet until she's 16 won't be sane. I'm more than willing to wipe them out. Such discordance bodes ill for what we must compose here. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? There are acid tanks rigged up on that thing. Set them off. Millions of my ancestors died to put these things down. Don't let them come back. She's the last of her race, Shepard. We don't have the objectivity to judge her. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us or return our people to the silence of memory. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No. We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. Are you stupid? Your people didn't fight these bastards. So maybe you don't get it. I'd like to have the Rachni on our side in the future. Do what you want. My people will clean up this mess later, just like we did for the Salarians. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Great. Bugs are writing songs about you. Mark my words, you'll regret this.
Are you here to secure the situation? That's right. I'm a Council Spectre. Who are you? I am Yaroslav Tartakovsky, the Operations Director. I would stand and shake hand, but uh, you must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni's ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Queens are born carrying the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the Purge system. It creates burst of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will give Nera destruct. <laughs> to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry, the sensor network is too damaged to provide an accurate count. Give me your best guess. Guessing is beyond my design parameters, Commander. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach in laboratory pod Gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input, 875-020-079. Code Omega, local execution. Verified, code Omega execution in 120 seconds.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? I won't be a puppet for the Asari. I give the orders around here. Understood? Forgive me, Commander. I was only trying to help. Crew, dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Novaria? And then release the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. So, you'd rather be a merc than help your people? I'm a fighter. It's what I do. Aren't you at all worried about what will happen to the Krogan? What the hell do you want me to do about it, Shepard? I'm tired of sticking my ass on the line and getting nothing for it. So you decided to go your own way? I decided killing for credits was better than killing for a lost cause. I'm no hero, Shepard. Bottom line, killing for credits simplifies things. Exactly. That's why I hired you. And that's why I joined. So I wouldn't have to deal with them. But there's a lot of Krogan mercs out there. I'm always running into them. Half the time I'm being paid to kill them. But that's just part of the job. You don't get to pick who your enemies are. How long have you been a merc? Long enough. I took my first contract right after I left my home system. It's good work, but it doesn't kill you. I get the feeling you enjoy your work. Sure. You get to see the galaxy on someone else's credits. And most days end with a good fight. I've tried more organized fighting, private armies and such, but it gets too messy. I fight best on my own, or in very small groups. I don't like people relying on me, and I bloody well don't like relying on them. So long, Rex. Shepard. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So you are interested in her? Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. Anyway, interested in a quick drink? It's a special occasion. What's the occasion? It's Armistice Day, when the first contact war ended. My family always marks it. Since I'm the only Williams aboard, I thought I'd ask you. Seems like an odd thing to celebrate. That was 26 years ago. In our family, it's not really a celebration, more like an obligation. 
Don't tell me you don't know about my family. My commanders always find out. It's not in my files or something? There's almost nothing in your files. Technical scores and a list of crap assignments. There's a reason for the crap assignments. I'm General Williams' granddaughter, the commander of the Shanxi garrison in the war. The only human ever to surrender to an alien race. Don't tell me you're blamed for that. Not formally. Dad got passed for promotion over and over. And I think my record merits more than garrison duty in a backwater agri colony. It takes a special kind of thick-headed to march into a job where your family's blacklisted. I did it anyway. I'm not gonna let our name go down with Arnold and Quisling. Granddad deserved better than that. I should have figured this out myself. I don't know how I can help you, though. Look at who I am, Shepard. Do you ever hear me ask for help? It's not that bad things don't happen to me. If you stay with me long enough, maybe I'll tell you about some of them. But I deal with them myself. I don't need a shoulder to cry on, a knight to rescue me, or a man to make me happy. This is who I am. I like her. And you better like her, too. So, you still interested in me? Baggage and all? Everyone comes with baggage, Ash. The trick is finding a match set. <laughs> That's awful. Tell me you got that out of a fortune cookie. But hey, once we save the galaxy, maybe the Alliance will get its act together. Start acting like an actual government. If not, we'll convince them. One way or the other, the Alliance is going to play a role in the Council. I have a feeling things will come to a head soon. But don't worry, Shepard. I'll protect you. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Commander, I... What can I do for you? Something bothering you? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever find him. He's always one step ahead of us, and he's got those damn geth. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. I understand your concern, but we'll find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, sir. I'll be ready. Can I ask you something, Commander? What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I mean, they were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Garrus. Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. He could escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him, permanently. I'm glad you see it that way. I never had any intention of capturing that bastard. When I see him, he dies. Good. The Council won't like it, but they can't stop you either. You see, this is why I want to be a Spectre. You never have to worry about bureaucratic idiots making a mess of everything. Just make sure you're ready when it happens. Yes, sir. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. <laughs>
Shepard, I need to talk to you. It's important. Is something wrong? You know the data you took from those Geth control nodes? The information you uploaded to Alliance Control? I want a copy of it. You want to bring this data back to the migrant fleet? Those files have information that could be vital to our efforts to understand the Geth. It could be the key to helping us reclaim our homeworld. It'll take years to decipher and analyze the data. Maybe even decades, but it's worth the time. This information will give us new insight into how the Geth have changed and evolved over the past centuries. Go ahead. Make a copy. My people, I owe you a great debt. One I can never repay. The only thing I can offer in return is what you already have. My solemn promise to stay with you until Saturn and his Geth armies are defeated. I never wanted anything more. Thank you, Shepard.
Anything you need, Commander? What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, was Benazi anyway. Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Dasoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once. Before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. I blame Saren. And if I were you, I'd want revenge. We have enough reason to stop Saren. I do not need to add revenge to the list. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. But we don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit a hundred and fifty. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but you did what had to be done. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was 
appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that too? I'm not interested in you in that way, Liara. This is very embarrassing for me, Commander. Please, let's talk about something else. I should go. Goodbye, Commander.